Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great video for you today. How many times have you had a Word document, possibly a report, and then you need to convert that report into a slide deck? We have a new feature in Microsoft that is in preview mode right now where you can take that Word document and export it into PowerPoint. So I'm going to do this twice and I'm going to give you some tips about what I would do in real life when I'm doing this. So here's example one. And just so you know this, this works in Word for the web. So I'm going to knock out one question already. Someone's going to say, what about the desktop version? I would imagine that Microsoft is going to implement this in the desktop version at some point. But what I did is I just work in Word on the desktop, save as, I put it in my OneDrive folder, and then just quickly open it in Word for the web. So here we go. I've got this document. I've got Excel. That is a heading one. I've got Microsoft Word or just Word. That is also a heading one. So I have two heading ones in this document. Functions you should know is a heading two. Data analysis features you should know is also a heading two. And the third heading two is under Word text formatting. So here we go. File. Export. When you go to export, look at this new option. It does say preview. Export to PowerPoint. When I click it, it's going to go ahead and start. I do want to point this out, so let me move this over. It's pulling up some different slide designs. You can pick whichever one you want, but what's important here is you notice at the very bottom, the text will go into PowerPoint, but other media, which means my logo that I intentionally put at the top of this, will not go. I'm going to pick this design just as a matter of preference. Here we go. Watch this. I've got two tabs in my browser. When I hit export, it'll open up PowerPoint for the web. Fingers crossed that it does. <laughs> open. Here we go. There is the third tab in my browser. Again, I could do a file, save, and then open this on PowerPoint on the desktop if I wanted to continue to work. But let me show you how this works here. This is actually really cool that it did this. It took that I have Excel and Word, which, my, which were my two heading ones, and it put them as the slide title. I'm making this up. I don't like the way that looks. I have Designer running over here on the right. I want that one. Slide number two is Excel, which was a heading one. And so it just says Excel. If you don't like this one, feel free to swap it around. Slide three is my heading two. So that's my first heading two that was under Excel right there. Again, functions you should know. If you don't like the question mark, click it. Remove it, put another picture in. Slide number three, data analysis. Slide four, don't like it, change it. It's up to you about changing these things. And then here's the last slide again. That was the one heading two I had under Microsoft Word. So there you go. One major tip for you here. So if you have in real life a really lengthy report in Word, you don't want everything in that report to go into PowerPoint because that would just be a lot of words in your slide deck. So I started doing this with a actual Microsoft document. So here's my example. Microsoft Teams, this is the third item down here talks about live captions. In real life, that was actually two or three paragraphs in my Word document. So keep your Word report the way it is and then do a file save as and maybe call it whatever to PowerPoint and then tweak it so you end up with just bullets. So I didn't do all of this, but here you go right here under Excel. It's talking about money in Excel. So I would lose that. Team still needs to be a heading two. And then Excel data types. Again, lose that because I'll discuss it while I'm going through my PowerPoint. 
So here we go again, one more time. I've got some bullets down here. You'll see what happens here. This will be a good example of what you would not want to do with these paragraphs. But let's still do it. File, export, pick something. Uh, that looks good. This is such a cool feature, by the way. Open, I'm going to get a new tab at the top. There's my point about having really long paragraphs in your Word document. Way too many words, but this now we're starting to get pretty good here. So I shortened all four of these. I don't like the way they look. Let's pick that one. That looks all right. Pick that one. If you don't like it, change it. How about that? Anyway, let me know if you like this new feature. I love it right now. Feel free to comment down below and also feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I do appreciate all your support. Have a great day. Thank you.